Welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to discuss few problems on Smith Tigard circuit. So here, I will be discussing the first problem is this one. Now to solve this kind of problem, you should have certain knowledge on Smith Tigard circuit. In my previous video, I have discussed Smith Tigard circuit in detailed way. So this is the video. So you have, if you have not gone through this one, I will suggest you to go through you will get clear concept about smith tigard circuit then you come back here and you will be able to solve these problems or you will be able to understand how to solve the problems okay and the link is given in the description box also in the above please go through that one okay now we will consider the, this first problem this first problem so here you can see that this is the one op amp with positive feedback that imply it is a smith tigard circuit and this is the reference potential 3 volt and this is the output and the levels the plus v set and minus v set these two levels are given here mentioned here so these are things so plus v set equals to plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt so both are same so saturation potential right positive side is plus 15 and negative side minus 15 it's okay now we need to identify this potential so this is the potential non-inverting terminal and remember that there is no current flow in this side so this when this input signal is crossing this potential v plus that time switching will occur the output will state output will change the state from V set to minus V set or minus V set to plus V set depending on this potential V plus. So it will have two values. So one value will be called upper threshold, upper value, other value will be called lower threshold. So these two values we want to calculate for this problem. So here we need to calculate these two values, upper threshold and north threshold potential. Okay. So how to find this V plus? In the very simple one what to do so I'll, re I'll rewrite these things so this is the 5 kilo ohm resistance okay this left hand side it is a 3 volt so this 3 volt this node potential is 3 volt I am writing here here we need to find out the potential right side this one is a 10k 10 kilo ohm and this potential is V out so in short I am writing V naught okay this is V naught so how to find this V plus it is very simple you can use superposition principle in one line you can find it out okay so how to find it this one so you can see that V naught or V plus okay V plus we can find out directly so this will be so when 3 volt is acting alone, V0 is not there. So this is not there, it is grounded. So what is the V plus? V plus will be potential across 10K. Okay. So you again, when 3 volt is acting alone, so 10K is the resistance, by total resistance is 10 plus 5, okay, multiplied by the supply voltage 3. So that is the contribution for this 3 volt at this node similarly so if it is not it is acting alone but this is not there this is grounded then v plus will be potential across 5k okay so i'll add this one again so contribution of v naught so this 5k across 5k so it is a remote is 5 by total 10 plus 5 into supply potential is v naught Okay, in one line we can solve this one. Otherwise, you can apply KCL at this node. You can apply KCL as well. You can find out. So, what is the current to this side? The current to this side, addition of these two current is zero. Okay, so V plus minus 3 by 5, this is the current flow this side, plus this V plus minus V naught by 10, both are kilo ohm kilo ohm. I can cancel it out. Okay, that is equal to zero. So these two equations are same. So you will be getting the same result. So what is the result here? So this is your 10 by 15. So it is a 2 by 
3 ok. So, it is 2 am I correct plus this is your 5 by 15 one third. So, it is V naught by 3 that is simple ok. So, this is a V plus. So, now how to calculate upper threshold lower threshold it is very simple V upper threshold is when V naught is equals to plus V set mean just replace V naught equals to plus 15 here ok. So, it is 2 plus 15 by 3. So, it is 5. So, 2 plus 5 is 7 volt and what is the lower threshold value? When output is minus V set means minus 15. So, it is same thing we will apply 2 plus V naught by 3 it is a 2 and this time it is your minus 15 by 3 ok. So, how much you will get? This this you will get this one ok. This is your minus 5 2 minus 5 is minus 3 volt ok. So, upper threshold is plus 7 and lower threshold is minus 3. So, option B is correct one and this problem appeared in gate is E ok and I think it is 19 2017 ok. So, I will give you or I will solve one more problem that is more difficult ok. So, let us take the next problem. So, this problem is really little bit difficult this one. So, you can see that this is again there is a positive feedback here. So, it is a Smith ticket circuit, but along with this one we have one capacitor ok and we have also two diodes connected and diode characteristics is given. So, this is one ideal characteristics from 0 onward this is surprising. So, any current can flow in positive directions and negative direction current cannot flow. So, this is one ideal diode characteristics that is mentioned here it is ideal diode ok there is no potential drop when in forward wise condition right. But here capacitance is mentioned here it is connected. So, what is the effect of capacitor that also you need to understand ok. So, you can see that this plus potential as I discussed earlier depending on output voltage you will be getting this V plus ok and this based on this V plus. So, this here you can note one thing there is no signal connected here no input is connected here this is only the circuit this is one regenerative oscillator circuit. So, from here you can get some oscillation capacitor will be charging sometimes then again it will be discharging again charging again discharging it is a continuous process we need to understand that process and then we need to find out the what is the question is that what is the maximum and minimum values of the capacitor potential this capacitor potential you need to find out. So, when you will be getting the maximum potential when it will try to get more than that switching will occur and okay, again when it will be less than certain value again switching will occur means very simple thing is that we need to find out the potential here means upper threshold and lower threshold that is all ok. For this problem it is sufficient if you can find out the lower threshold and upper threshold potential at this node ok. But we need to take care about these diodes right and I also also discuss when the capacitor will charge up and when capacitor will discharge ok. But this is a continuous process I am telling you and you will be getting on oscillations ok output will switch from plus V set to minus V set ok. Now, assume that V naught is plus 15 volt. So, if I assume that currently we are having V naught equals to plus 15 volt that time what is the this potential this potential is V plus that we need to find it out ok. Now, what is the problem here? So, we will draw these things 
this is resistance, this is a resistance, and this is one more resistance, this is one more resistance. Okay, and this time, so here one diode is connected, this is the diode, and here also one diode is connected. This is your output potential V0, and here we need to find out this V plus, and this end is really connected to ground. This resistance R, all resistance R. Okay, so this is our diode D1. I am calling it. It is a D2. Okay, now when V0 is 15 volt, if this is your 15 volt, right now positive 15 volt. So what you can expect? You can expect a current flow in this direction because this is the higher potential, this is the ground, so I can have a current to this side only. And remember that there is no current to this branch. So no branching of current here. So only thing is that current can move from this point to this side, right to left. It cannot flow left to right. Okay, because the output potential is positive plus 15 volt. So when current will try to go this side, okay, this diode D1 will be on and D2 will be automatically off because it will not uh, allow these things. Okay, so this diode will be off and this diode D1 will be on. It's short circuit. So it drop will be zero. It's short circuit. So what is happening? So this is the thing that you need to understand this is your on and this one is your off under this potential and if it is off it is open circuit I can open it and if it is on it is a short circuit and if it is sorted there is no potential drop across this one so I can remove this resistance so effectively what is happening so I have one resistance here it is short circuit path here. Then here one resistance R, one more resistance R, it is a 2 R. So what is the potential here? It is very simple. So this V plus will be potential across this terminal, this plus minus terminal. Okay, and that is nothing but potential across R. Okay, this resistance we have removed. Okay, we can remove because it is short circuit, the bypass path is sorted. And here diode is removed, both the resistance R and R, 2R is there, this is 2R. Okay, so what is the potential V plus? It's a potential divider circuit across R, so this, this is R upon total R plus 2R times the supply voltage 15 volt. Okay, so this is R by 3R times 15, means 1 by 3 into 15, means 5 volt. Is it okay? I think it is absolutely fine. Okay. So this is the upper threshold. I can say that this is your BUT. Upper threshold. So capacitor can charge up up to this potential 5 volt. It can't go beyond that. Whenever it will try to go beyond that, output will become minus 12 volt. Okay. Now we will consider when output is minus 12 volt, then what is the V plus. So V naught is if I consider because it is given that this potential is minus 12 volt, it is minus 12 volt. So again the same circuit will draw it. I think you can do that one. So this is your minus 12 volt right now, V naught, and this end is grounded. But here we have one diode, we need to understand whether it is on or off. Here again we have one more diode. So this is D1, D2. This resistance R, this also R, R, R. So here we need to find out the potential B plus. Now as this is negative potential minus 12 volt, so we can expect current to this side. This side current will be there. Okay. Earlier current was this side. Now the current is because this zero is higher potential compared to minus 12 volt. So as current is moving from left to right, 
so d2 will be on so this this will be on but this will not allow this will be off okay it is opposite direction can cannot go to this side but can can go to this side so it is short circuited when it is on this potential is zero it is mentioned there so it is short circuit if it is short circuit we can remove the resistance r it has no effect we have one short circuit path bypass path but when it is open circuit this diode d1 is open so this is removed so effectively we are having these two resistance in series so this is two r and this is only r so what is the potential potential means potential across this one with respect to ground okay so this v plus is simply this two r by total total is this two r and r into supply voltage supply voltage is your minus 12 volt okay so this is 2/3 of this minus 12 means 3 into 4 so minus 4 into 2 means minus 8 is it okay this is very simple so this is your lower threshold potential vlt but is 5 volt blt is minus 8 volt now question it is asked that the difference between maximum and minimum potential now easily we can find out so that means b maximum is your but as i said earlier and b minimum is vlt okay so what is the difference between these two so b a max Minus B mean is this is equal to B maximum is five volt. This is five volt minus minimum is minus eight volt. So minus minus plus five plus eight is thirteen volt. Okay, so thirteen volt. This option C is correct one. Okay, so this capacitor will be charging. So how it is char charging this one? So I can draw here. so it can charge from minus 8 volt to plus 5 volt okay like this and again it will discharge from plus 5 to minus 8 again it will charge up again it will discharge up, these things so this maximum will be 5 volt and minimum will be minus 8 volt so this charging time constant depends on this r and c so if question is there we can discuss in that way but the, here it is not required so i am not going to discuss this one in future lectures or future future problems if question is coming from this point we'll be discussing more i hope you have got this one okay so if you have enjoyed this video you, you can just press a like button so we'll be discussing lots of problem in this channel keep watching so thanks for watching